Okay, start by opening iTunes and go to Preferences. Navigate to the Advanced tab under Importing and make sure import using you have the AAC encoder selected. It may uh, may already be AAC or it may have been MP3. So make sure it's AAC. That's the format we need. Take the file you want to uh, convert. And right click and select convert selection to AAC. Once it has converted, click and drag the file onto your desktop. And you can now delete that file because we don't need it anymore in the iTunes library. Move it to trash. And you can minimize iTunes for now. And open Fission. Drag the file that we just put on the desktop into Fission. It will open it. And in Fission, this is what we're going to use to crop out a 30 second piece. You can select whatever you want. You can select whatever you want. Um, or you can use the set selection tool to pick a 30 second window. Hit set and it will snap a 30 second selection. Click on crop and it will automatically fade both ends of the selection that you cropped. Now select save audio. Saving it with the same name and format on the desktop will overwrite the full length song. Minimize that. Now you have a 20 second, I'm mean, sorry, 30 second clip in Apple M4A format. Right click and go to Get Info. In the info you can see is 30 seconds long, AAC format. And the file name ends in M4A. We're going to change that to M4R. You can see it says that it's MPEG-4, and you can see this one above that says Ream. I'm going to write Apply, or close the information, and apply the M4R format. You can see the icon changes to a Ream file. Bring iTunes back up. Go to the Ringtones tab, and drag the file in. You can see that it now shows up as a ringtone. And whenever I go to sync my phone, and select the ringtones tab, you can see that the file I just created is in there. And any minute now, it will sync. And I'm getting a phone call. That's it.